Hey everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back for another video. You guys, before I get started, I just want to quickly say, please go over to my second channel, Mother Prepper, and subscribe. That is my second channel. It's just a backup channel. I will put a link to it right up here. If I can remember, and it's going to also be in the description and comment box down below. So please go over there and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. It's just my second backup channel. And I will also be posting videos over there as well, just to try to get it growing and started. Okay, so today I want to open up this can of peas. Y'all, the best buy date was July 30th, 2017. So this is about four and a half years old. We're going to open it up, heat it up, and taste it, okay? All right, and as I'm opening this can of peas, I just want you guys to know that there is a thing called botulism. All right, and on the CDC website, it does state, I will insert a screenshot here, that if you suspect any food of having botulism, you can boil it for five minutes at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 85 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is my can good of peas. It's the Very Young Sweet Peas by Le Sir. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's um, the Best Buy was July 2017. Y'all, they look perfectly fine. They look perfect. I'm going to sniff it real quick. <laughs> mm. They smell good. They smell, <laughs> they smell just like peas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in this pot. I have my peas, my pot. I'm just going to pour it in there. As you can see, they still look perfectly fine. Okay. Inside of the can. I mean, look at it. They look and smell really good. As if, you know, it was a brand new can I went to the store and bought today. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this right here. Let me start my heat. A big old flame. All right, but I want to make sure I cook this well. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I bring this to a good boil and cook it for a few minutes. It's better to be safe than sorry, you guys. I know it smells fresh. There's no um, abnormal looks to it. You know, it doesn't look like it would be bad or anything, but you just never know. I'd rather be safe than sorry, and especially in an SHTF situation, <laughs> you know, you really want to take those extra precautions and make sure your food's cooked because you don't want to get sick in an SHTF situation where there's no doctor that you can go to in those types of events. All right, so let me just talk real quick while this is warming up for a few minutes. Um, I have a few other canned goods, and I will just make a small series of me testing these out opening the canned goods and showing you guys what it looks like. Can y'all see that? So far it's at 213 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty much what it's reading. Yeah, so it's about 214, 213, you know, sticking around that number. Uh, like I said, the CDC website says about 185 degrees Fahrenheit for about five minutes. That's what I've done so far, and it's like Mine's at 214, 213 in that area, degrees Fahrenheit. All right, you guys. So I'm going to let this cool off a little bit because it's extremely hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. But I will let you guys know how this tastes. You know, if it does taste like it's four and a half years past the expiration date, or should I say the best buy date, or does it taste like a can of peas I would go out and buy today and eat? All right, so I'm going to let this cool off for a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, so I let it cool off for just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put me some in a bowl. Y'all, I love peas. I love me some peas. Oh my goodness, look how good that looks. Y'all, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn my, my camera light on because it's so dark in my kitchen. But y'all, mm -mm -mm, I love me some peas. Okay, I'm gonna taste test it. It's still kind of hot, but I just, I can't wait no longer. Okay, let's try it. I mean, it tastes like peas. Mm. Hmm. Let me try this again, you guys. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, they're good. But... It does taste like it is about four and a half years past the Best Buy date. <laughs> I mean, in a true SHTF situation, I would eat this. 
I would feel safe eating this, you know, after boiling it for so long. But I don't know if it's because I was having coffee earlier, but when I was trying this, I had that coffee taste out of my mouth because it's been a while since I was drinking my coffee over there. But it does taste a little... I don't know. It just tastes a little different. I can't explain it. I mean, let me try it one more time. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. They're good. I mean, I'll eat it. I wish I had um some leftover dinner from last night. Because last Sunday I made hamburger steak with some onion gravy sauteed mushrooms and onions and mashed potatoes <laughs> so peas would go really good with that meal right about now but um they're good okay I just wanted to quickly show you guys me opening a canga that was from 2017 that was Best Buy from 2017 I do I think I have some corn I have I think I even might have some canned meats um I think I have some Chef Boyardee think some carrots probably all sorts of stuff and I'm going to go through that I saved it because y'all <laughs> it, it's still edible nothing's wrong with it and the reason why I saved it is to make these videos to show you guys but also if I need to trade something in an SHTF situation you know barter something hey I'm gonna be bartering those old canned goods <laughs> before I barter my newer good canned goods you know that me and my family would eat so that's why I have that. I just have it tucked away in a corner now. And it's just for me to make this series with. And also just to have to barter with, you know. And for if in, not for anything else, something for you to feed your dog with, you know. <laughs> All right. So because, you know, your dogs and pets, they got to eat too. All right. So I think that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and shit. Roxanne, you can make me trip, sweetheart. My dog is like constantly under my feet all day. All right, so like I said, please don't forget to like, big thumbs up, you guys, subscribe and share, and please don't forget to head over to my second channel, Mother Prepper, and, you know, subscribe there, and that's just my backup channel, you guys, and I will be posting videos there to help that channel to grow. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. It does have a little off taste, like I said. I think, it, I, th I personally think it would still be safe to eat, but, you know, like, for anything. If you want to try this at home, if you have old canned goods, use your best judgment, proceed with caution, and nobody is responsible for you except for yourself, okay? So remember that. All right, you guys, take care. Have a good night. Is a thing called botulism, okay? That is something, what's going on with my, <laughs> uh-oh. What the heck happened? Oh my god, what the heck happened here?